In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of eClinical Works Scribe commands which can greatly speed up your time and efficiency. Again, we've got a progress note opened with the Scribe window. Again, this is obtained by clicking the Scribe tab and you'll see the Scribe window on the left ready to accept commands and the progress note on the right. In this case, notice that I have a nearly empty subjective part of the note, but I would like to pull in all these medical history points which have been added at previous visits. I could go through and click each section and do that, but Scribe gives us a better way. To find the commands, you click the Help button, and there are several of them. I'm going to scroll down to two that we're going to use. We're going to use the command Import All History first. Then we're going to use the Verify command. So I'm going to close this, and I can type Import All History, or I can use Dragon, which I will do. Import all history. And off now. You can see that it added this command. Fairly simple. When I click scribe it, now it pulled in all of this social history, and there's some surgical history and hospitalization that wasn't there previously. This saves us a lot of time. One problem is you can see that some of the history boxes aren't marked verified, such as the medical history or the surgical or hospitalization. So we can use Scribe to check all these boxes as well, rather than doing it individually. And we do this by the Verify command, which I'm going to add again using Dragon. Verify medical history, comma, surgical history, comma, hospitalization. Now I've turned Scribe back off. With this command, I'm going to hit Scribe It. Now it looks the same, but when we go here, you can see medical history is checked. Surgical history and hospitalization are checked. So you can imagine if you had a command that would do all that at once, you could import all of your history and mark it all verified in one click. And in fact, that's what we're going to do on the next video. It involves making custom commands in Dragon Naturally Speaking, which will then drop multiple commands into Scribe. So if you haven't watched my previous video on making custom commands in Dragon, or if you're not familiar with the process, I'd recommend you go do that before watching the next video.